Hey, I would like to talk to you um, and encourage you about battles as a Christian. A lot of times we think that something's wrong because these battles aren't going away. They're never going to go away. Or we're going to battle till the end. But um, I'd like to talk to you um, about a title of a message called, All the Giants Are Not Killed in One Battle. Remember David and Goliath? David was a young boy and he took up five smooth stones. Well, he used one stone on Goliath and he fell that giant. But there was four other stones, you know, and a lot of people try to say that was, you know, the five was for faith, F-A-I-T-H and different things. But I've got a, a biblical explanation for those five smooth, smooth stones. Um, well, first of all, my Bible reading is in 1 Samuel 17, 40, um, where he took up the five smooth stones. But my text that I want to focus on is 2 Samuel 21, 22. And it says, These four were born to the giant in Gath and fell by the hand of David and by the hand of his servants. David had, or uh, the Goliath had four other brothers. So there was Goliath and then there was four more. You see, every time David turned around, he was um, he was fighting something. First, he started off fighting a lion, and he killed that lion with the slingshot. Remember that? <clears throat> and then he fought off a bear with his with his bare hands. And then he killed Goliath with the with the sling. And um, I wanted to point out right here that when we get when we look back at our lives at the end of our race at the end of of the war between good and evil. When we look back, we're gonna see the storm clouds coming in and then some sun shining. More storm clouds coming in and then some more sun shining. It's not gonna go away. Around every bend, there's a little straight part and then there's another bend. Um, it's just not gonna end. And all the giants are not killed in one battle. You're gonna to have to fight them again. Other family members now check this out you know David was part of a family and had his father Goliath was part of another lineage and had his father and um, Satan is of his father the devil and there's a hierarchy in the spiritual realm and uh, you may fight and win in one area but then there is another area because they all have one father that comes out. You may win the victory over one thing and then over here there's something else that comes up and you're going to have to fight over there in this area. Um, that should bring some understanding to the fact that all the giants will not, will not be killed in one battle. All of the enemies of our soul will not be killed in one battle. They're going to keep coming. A lot of people are living on yesterday's victories. Yesterday's dead giants. I know what that's like, because I feel like I, I have and still am living in a lot of yesterday's victories. But we can't just have a good victory in our young days and say, hey, back in the day, you know, I was on fire for the Lord. Uh, and then 20 years later, we're, we're living on that. Um, David went from a lion to a bear to, a, to Goliath to all of Goliath's brothers. Uh, we should be getting stronger and stronger. We should be slaying more and more. Um, we should be bringing down the enemy of our soul uh, as it applies to everyday life. Of course, Christ brought down the enemy of our soul in one, one swell swoof uh, a long time ago. But uh, the devil does fight us even yet today. He fights us. And through Christ, through Christ, we have to... Uh, resist the devil and flee and bring our flesh under subjection and turn away from unrighteousness and turn to righteousness. Okay? It's time for a fresh victory. The Philistine campaign continued with four different battles, but the same enemy. There was four different battles when you read um, about how he killed those four different uh, 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 giants. Um, but there was the same enemy. Uh, it was the same Jewish army that fought and the same King David, but the same battle. 
The Bible says in Revelation 2, 7, He that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. That troubles me in some ways because I know a lot of Christians that a long time ago, they, you know, quote, accepted Jesus Christ. Um, but they're living in sin. They're overcome by alcohol, overcome by drugs, overcome by cigarettes, overcome by a host of other things, overcome by those things. And they don't even fight against it anymore. So uh, Jesus said that the same that overcomes, we will eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Overcoming is immediate and progressive because all the giants are not killed in the same battle. Now, I want to skip down here to this part right here where it talks about Caleb. Um, whenever uh, he was part of the spies that uh, went out and checked out the land um, for the Lord, Joshua and Caleb. And the Bible says they came back, they had a different spirit, and they came back with a different report than everybody else. Um, that different spirit is what I want to focus on right now. That overcoming spirit, that, that spirit that's, that's uh, ready to fight. I was in the military, and you always had to be ready. You always was in a, a state of alert, realizing your duffel bags were packed uh, and ready to go. And then there was an alert roster. Uh, you know, two hour, four hour, six hour recall, whatever they, the order of the, the flavor of the day was. But the Bible says that they had a different spirit. What kind of a spirit do you have? Are you, do you have a, a lazy, non overcoming, don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, don't want to get involved type of a spirit? Well, the Bible says that the fearful won't inherit the kingdom of God. You have to be willing to make a stand for God right here, right now, where you're at. And uh, we need to check our spirit and make sure we, we still have that on fire spirit for God. Um, that we're on the winning team. Remember that scripture that says we are more than conquerors through him who loved us? Romans 8, 37. Conquerors through him. That doesn't mean... That, you know, we re, you know when I was eight years old, I, I gave my heart to Jesus. No, that, that's great. But you have to walk with the Lord. You have to talk with the Lord. You have to keep praying and overcoming and resisting the devil and resisting sin. And have a, a vivacious walk with God, walk with Jesus Christ that is overcoming this world, number one. And prepare and and uh, which allows you to be prepared and I can come up with all kinds of scriptures for the next for the world to come Jesus did win a victory for us but he did not overcome your personal battles that you have to face as you walk the narrow way the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 15 57 but thanks be to God who gives us the victory through Jesus Christ through Jesus Christ. That's how we do it. No, we don't do it within ourselves. In the name of Jesus, I have the victory. In the name of Jesus, I, I rebuke you, devil. But if you're laying down and not doing anything and not implementing the name of Jesus or calling on the name of Jesus and hiding uh, or, um, or, or hiding behind the cross, so to speak, um, uh, behind Jesus and working through Jesus, through his power, through his word, through his spirit, then you're, you're possibly living a life that, is, that has not overcome the sin and overcome the world and overcome the flesh and overcome the devil as it pertains to you today in your walk with God. We must... We must fight the devil till the day that we die. We're going to have to fight his influences, fight his demons, fight his uh, the spiritual warfare uh, that's going on around us. We're going to have to make a stand for God and fight this good fight of faith in order for us to um, 
uh, be counted worthy because to be counted worthy, it's not just saying, I believe, I believe in Jesus. The Bible says that the devils believe and tremble. They believe there's one God and they tremble. A, a belief that is not propelling you into the future in a victorious walk with Jesus Christ very well may be a, a dead belief, a belief that is that is that has not affected you at all. It's just a mental ascent, a mental ascending. True belief, belief is an action word. True belief will recognize the fact that you will be fighting the world, the flesh, and the devil through the power of Jesus Christ and his blood and through what he did for you till the day that you die. The devil will not just lay down and um, not be active in trying to destroy you. And how he destroys us is he tries to destroy our faith. All the battles... All, all the giants are not killed in one battle. So you did a you did something wonderful five years ago. You did something wonderful last year. Uh, boy, you had the victory in that last church you went to. Uh, boy, you had the victory uh, back when you did this, that, and the other, or knew this person or that person or the other. You're living. You're a one-hit wonder. Then you're just you're living in the past. You're living in the past when you were living above sin. You're living in the past whenever you were. Um, uh, praying God use me don't refuse me and you're trusting that of, but you're trusting in something that you did many many years ago to help you today fighting the devils of today now I'm not saying that you're not saved God's the judge on that but what I am saying there's plenty of scripture that points to the fact that we have to fight and strive against the ruler of this world and against wickedness in high places in order to walk with Jesus to enter that he's the, the the straight gate and he's the straight path and we enter with Jesus but to walk his path with Jesus it's a very narrow road and if you're overcome by something today don't be don't don't think it's the end of the world because you can rise up today in the name of Jesus. You can rise up today through prayer, through a, through a different spirit and say, you know what? I'm tired. I'm tired of this uh, substance having, having control over me. I'm tired of uh, hanging around these people and all they do is uh, bring me down. Um, you don't have to hang around those people. I'm tired of sin that may be dogging your your foot your footprint and your path that you walk you can rise up right now in the name of jesus christ claim your victory and march forward with him when the devil raises up his ugly face you resist the devil you flee to god and the bible says that if we resist the devil and we flee to the lord that that he will give us strength to uh, man I can't remember the rest of that scripture you know what you look it up look it up um, just look up resist uh, the devil and flee from the devil and resist the devil and uh, man I'm having one of those one of those deals <laughs> so it's in there um, but you can look it up um, if we just lean on the Lord uh, he will give us strength I think it's my time to to end this thing okay don't stay down. Get up in the name of Jesus Christ right now. Get up in the name of Jesus Christ. Engage a different spirit against the enemy that's dogging you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. <laughs>